I'd say, first of all, thank you. Only in America can a guy who grew up as I did, working poor to a mom who got out of high school and a dad who didn't find himself on a stage like this tonight. So I'm incredibly honored and humbled. We heard two very clear ver visions for our state tonight. One is more of the same. In, in, in essence, another Chris Christie term, where the middle class is hollowed out, the truth is left behind, uh, public education doesn't get funded, infrastructure is ignored, we become more unfair by the day, and it's constant us against them. Or we could turn the page and embrace change and new leadership and new priorities. Priorities where we respect our seniors. We celebrate and invest in our middle class and in the dreams of those who aspire to get into the middle class. We fund public education and infrastructure. We become fair and inclusive for all again. We fund Planned Parenthood. We sign sensible gun safety laws. We do something about climate change and we reject gimmicks and we deliver real tax relief to the middle class. On the one hand, you've got folks who want to scare you to follow them and vote for them. That's not where I come from. I come from being grown up, being inspired by people like John Kennedy and Bobby Kennedy and Martin Luther King and Cesar Chavez and Barack Obama. And if that's your vision, I need you. I need your vote on November 7th. Thank you. Guadano, you have 90 seconds starting now. 90 right. seconds. So thank you. I want to speak to the people at home. I want to talk to those people that are saying to themselves, why should I go to the ballot on November 7th? And how do I decide? I think the answer is very, very clear. Phil Murphy will raise your taxes. I will lower them. And that's why you should go to the ballot box on November 2nd. We need your vote. You know, I grew up moving all around the country. My dad lost his job. I moved 12 times before I went to college. I know what it means when a family has to leave a state and a town that they grew to love. I don't want to see New Jerseyans do the same thing. I put myself through college, I put myself through law school, and I was lucky enough to marry a guy from Jersey where I knew I wanted to raise my family. My family has been raised in New Jersey, and I think the reason why I'm running for governor, in fact, I know the reason why I'm running for governor, is because I don't want other families in New Jersey to lead the life that I led. I don't want my child, their children to be raised the way I had to be raised. If Phil Murphy becomes the governor of the state of New Jersey, the only person who will be able to afford to stay in New Jersey will be Phil Murphy. He has promised to raise taxes on just about everybody, and it proved it tonight. Vote for lower taxes, vote for a safer New Jersey, and please, right, on and November 7th, does vote for your me. 90 seconds. Thank you both for a very spirited debate. I would like to thank my fellow panelists for being here today. I would also like to thank William Patterson University tonight for hosting this. Election Day is November 7th. Please be sure to go out and vote. I'm Christine Johnson. I'll be back at 11 o'clock on CBS 2 News at 11. Thanks for joining us.